radio! Oh, yeah. <laughs> every year, every year, when we do our, uh, we gotta do the hard <laughs> wrestle. Uh, every year when we do our WrestleMania show, I think, uh, I think you open us up with <laughs> WrestleMania. Mania! I'm gonna inject a little energy or something like that. What, what is this? What is this? Sunshine during WZR? What is this? I know, I know, right? Did we, uh, get a reboot on me? Is that what happened here? It looks like the computer, uh... uh not the whole computer. It would be the browser, probably. Oh, uh, is that what it was? Anyways, here we are! Here we are! On a Saturday afternoon. Saturday afternoon. 4 o'clock Eastern Time. 4 o'clock Eastern Time. 8 o'clock UK Time. 8 o'clock UK. Is that I, right? I think it's, uh... I think it's a five-hour difference, right? So, uh, somebody on my Twitter, uh, Dean, Dean, uh, know. said that it was, uh, 8 o'clock over in the, uh, in the United Kingdom. So, does it feel like WrestleMania? Well, I explained to you earlier today, it, it <laughs> work-wise, it feels like WrestleMania. Excitement for the show as a fan-wise... Not even a little bit. No, <laughs> not even a little bit. No. Well, maybe a little bit, but not well, much. <clears throat> on Tuesday, uh, following Raw, by the way, beers, it's WrestleMania weekend. Of course. Saturday afternoon, 4 o'clock. You know, I know you don't like We're to talk about this stuff on air, but too deep. you could name any day of the week, any time of the week, any occasion of the week, and yes, there will be beers. There will be beers. What's the difference? Yes. yes. Maybe there's more beers. But it's not, that. we don't start drinking at 8, 9, no, 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 10 no. o'clock in the morning. We don't start like drinking six, until like five, six, 6, 7 o'clock at night, you know mm. what I mean? So, but anyway, um... When did you start today? I started at one thirty. You started before me, because that's what made me start. I heard a crack in your room, and I said, son of a bitch. No, I started early, but I think it was about 2, 2.30. Couldn't have been 2.30, because I, I was finishing a movie at about 2.30. And I heard you crack one open, yeah. man. Well, I had heard it in there, and then you went right to the bathroom, because even I even heard it. You know how when you set it on the counter, you hear... Yeah. I yeah, heard yeah, that, yeah. and I said, all right, he's drinking. I'm, I'm not going to fall behind. I thought it was about 2 o'clock. But I do drink faster than you, so I'm probably way We need to go you. down. Allison <laughs> doesn't have uh, an ID. So she couldn't pick us up our beer down there. So we need to go and... There's and a tall boy six-pack in there. Well, she can get it at Stortz because they know we're down there. Oh, you're trying to go get a 30? But uh, she okay. doesn't... Um, down. Anyway, uh, my, my we, we don't got time for this bullshit. This 27, 28 years old. So she's not yeah, buying beer young. illegally. But anyways... We could cover uh, it off the air. We so, so here's the deal. Uh, we're going to be here window. for about the next hour. We're going to run down the WrestleMania card from top to bottom. Give our predictions like we told you guys that we were going to do on Tuesday night. So we'll go from top to bottom, start with the pre-show, go to the main event, give the predictions. Um, what happens if we turn this off? What does that look like? Too dark. You think it's too dark? Eh, I don't know. I think it's too bright with that on, to be honest with you. Alright, turn it down a little bit. Um, put it over here so I see what happens. There you go. That's good. Uh, that's yeah, it's about, the same. Worse. Yeah. it's about the same. Turn it off. Go a little bit darker. All right. Lighten the mood. Should we light a candle? It's still pretty light. <laughs> Should we light it? <laughs> oh, we forgot so, to put that light behind it. That's what's up. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah, too. We got a bunch of different lights we use. All right, so here's here's the deal. So we'll go uh, we'll go from the very beginning of the card, start with the pre-show, go all the way down. I'll tell you what, man. It doesn't, as far as the card is concerned, we all know. I mean, we've known for weeks what the WrestleMania card's going to be. Well, we knew it until tomorrow night, Wednesday, I want to say, or Thursday, and then it changed. Oh, with the match bump, yeah, bump the, the pre-show. Yeah, it was a big match. The memorial thing is like their new tradition. I think it's it, already I, a pre-show tradition after figured, one year. It was a pre-show last year. Was it a pre-show? The Battle Royal was a pre-show. That's know. what opened the pre-show last was year. Was it? But it was only a one-hour pre-show last year. This no, year... No, it was a two-hour pre-show last year, wasn't it? You positive? I'm pretty sure. It was long. Let's put it this way. It was longer than most pre-shows. So maybe they did half-hour pre-shows and then many was an hour? Because I, now regular pay-per-view pre-shows are an hour, I think, right? Yeah, and maybe this yeah. one's two. Yeah. So. This one's two. Yeah, this I could swear it was two hours last year because I remember wanting to try and get Correct. extra money for doing coverage Co of it. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat room, but I think the Andre Battle Royal was on the pre-show. I may be wrong on that, but you correct go. me. You're already wrong. All right, it was on the main well, card. Three minutes right. into the All show right. and he's My wrong bad. for the first time. My bad. Look at what the fuck? Keep it what tally. the fuck? It was on. <laughs> All right, so it was on the. Uh, that's my bad. What what opened the pre-show last year? Then I th I could have sworn. I'm wrong though. They're all saying that I it was can't on the uh, last on the, year. Uh, I think the pre-show was a tag team match. I want to say. I don't remember. 
I, don't, I want to picture the Usos on the on the pre-show, but I don't remember against who. Don't the Usos open every pre-show? It seems like, like it, the yeah. Usos open every pre-show up. I don't remember. Somebody in the uh, in there the chat go. room. Damn, I'm good. I was a straight guess. Pre-show tag, tag match team Usos. with the Usos. Yeah, I Joe swear to God, I was guessing. All right, all right, no doubt. So they bumped uh, the Andre the Battle Royal, which you guys are corrected me. I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, was Last year, that was uh, that fucking body slam on Big Show, where he like walked with him and then. You're right, the you're right. They had a couple cool spots during that match that was on. It's the only the, one that stands uh, out, but I'm sure there were a couple. All right, matches. all right. So they've taken that match off the pay per view and they bumped it up to the pre show this year. You've got a two hour pre show. So and they announced on SmackDown. I can tell you this for a fact, as I watched SmackDown on Thursday night. Hour number two is going to feature the Andre Battle Royal. Hour number one is going to feature the tag team at the uh, Fatal Four Way. Tag titles, yeah. Yeah, the Fatal Four Way. Can you imagine the tag that? Team titles. That's going to be hour one. A title hour is on the line on the pre show. Well, so the, is what they think of the tag team not titles. Not the Divas right? title, not the old hardcore European title. We're talking about the WWE Tag Team mm-hmm. Champion. If you're a tag team, that's the biggest prize you can get. And even at WrestleMania, it's only worth a pre show match. I know. And I it's know. the opening pre show <laughs> match, not even the pre show <laughs> main event. It's the I opener know, for the pre show. I know. It's crazy. That's man. sad. It's crazy. Um. So yeah, they're gonna open. Hour number one is gonna feature the uh, the Fatal Four Way Tag Team Match. Hour number two is gonna feature the uh, the Andre the Giant Battle Royal Memorial. Um. So that's how they're gonna kick it off. Think about it. It starts at five o'clock. A lot of people forget that normal WWE pay per views go on the air at eight o'clock Eastern Time. WrestleMania starts at seven. 77 Eastern. Eastern. I was going to say, the pre-show, <laughs> if you live in California or anywhere on the West Coast, yeah, yeah, that show, the pre-show, is starting at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. We'd already be two and a half hours I deep know. into the show right now. So the fans, the fans have got to be in the arena if you want to catch you know, the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Match. They've got to be there by 2 o'clock Eastern, or yeah, 2 o'clock Eastern time, or 2 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Uh, five o'clock Eastern time. So they got to be anybody that's attending WrestleMania yeah. that wants to catch the Fatal Four Way match has to be be in the arena by two o'clock. So what you're gonna get is anybody who traveled from far, way out of town, they'll be yeah. there. Yeah. But the guys that live around there that are used to stuff, right? Like remember when we went to the UFC in Vegas? Nobody we're used, showed up until the main event. Yeah, we're used <laughs> living on the East Coast. We're used to the, the pre-show. It being something you either ignore or even if you watch it, you, right. you know you turn on you watch it. Right. But if you live there, the pre-show starts at like two or three o'clock. Yeah. The yeah. pay-per-view. The pay-per-view was over. Uh, what was it Saturday? The pay-per-view was over by like five or like six or seven o'clock, like eight it's o'clock at the so latest. It was like for uh, the night was just beginning and the UFC pay-per-view was over for you and I. <clears> it's <throat> so weird it's living just, yeah. on the East Coast. But when I lived in Colorado, when yeah. I was out there, raw. Would start at seven o'clock. And it's it only would be an hour, over. though. But it, uh, two hours. But it would be over, or it would start. Oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is back when it was nine eleven. Yeah, yeah. Right. So raw now starts six o'clock. So when you're eating dinner, six o'clock, you're watching raw, and then raw is over by nine o'clock. I you almost wish I, mean? I lived on the west coast for that reason. You could do your raw play by play, and then right. go party for the rest of the night. Somewhere, go to a bar or something. You go to a friend's house. Right. You can do whatever you want. But here, the second Raw is over, it's like, fuck, man, it's almost midnight. <laughs> it's damn near 11.30, yeah. and Jesus, you yeah. know. But, uh, all right, so, let me uh, let me first off say a big thank you to Ranjit, has been sending me stuff on Twitter, uh, photos from Access and WrestleMania and everything else. Uh, Orhe. Orhe is... Quick, before is, we get off the time zone thing, I'm sorry, but that's yeah. worth talking. Dino UK was talking about the UK time run. Dino... I know. He says, try watching Raw from 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. I guess that's what the U.K. That's audience... That's crazy. And they got a lot of U.K. fans, so... And, fuckers. and the, the Hall of Fame tonight, TV they've got to stay awake with the Hall of Fame on the network. If they want to watch it, it doesn't start until like 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. The good thing about having the network, though, is it's immediately archived. Right. So you can go to bed, get up, and watch it whenever you want. True, true. Right. Um, so, Ranjit been sending a lot of stuff on uh, Twitter. Or hey, he Romero. Yeah. He is amazing. Why uh, you haven't given that guy a job yet is beyond me, but all right. Uh, I sent uh, Ranjit, there's an email coming to you. Or hey, I know you got an email from me about two days ago, and Rigal, you got an email me an email from me about two days ago. I haven't been able to respond to you guys yet, but you guys are probably gonna come on board. 
to WZROnline.com. Yeah. I tried giving uh, Roy a job, like, last year, and my boss wanted nothing to do with it. I think Roy, yeah, well, I own my own website. I know. So I, I would fucking hire him in a second if I was a boss. I think uh, Ryan's going to do a lot of indie stuff for you guys on WZROnline.com. Jorge's going to do a lot of photos and news and things like that. Yeah. And I am going to take a step back on WZR Online. Still the same thing for ProWrestlingScoops.com. Nothing changes there. <coughs> but WZROnline.com is going to become run by Orhe and Ranji and Rigao as long as my plans go according to plan. And they're good. <laughs> so, and, and that has to do with advertisers and things like that. We're going to make WZROnline.com stand out from other websites where for you the guys fans, see... By the fans. You guys see the same news on Pro Wrestling Scoops and yeah. WZR Online. WZR Online is going to be a little bit different. You're still going to see some of my news up there. Not all of it, but some of it. Jorge is going to... T uh, once I talk to these, I don't want to get into it too much because I even talked to or Jorge and, and you know, Ryan. I swear and it's George. But, Ron Jeet and, yeah. and, and everybody else. So I need to go back, talk to them, figure something out, and then we're going to make WZROnline.com a little bit different. A little bit different from other websites. But anyways... Um, WrestleMania. So, WrestleMania. Uh, we've got the Hall of Fame coming up tonight. What are you um, looking forward to? Because this year I'm really... Who's the main event? Kevin Nash or Randy Savage? I heard it was going to be Nash because, A, it's Nash, and then he's being inducted by Michaels, right? There was uh, a rumor that it was Foley, but I think it's Michaels now. What was that tweet about was by Foley? Foley? I don't know. That was weird. Was he joking? I don't or think so. And then Because he said the initial thing like as if it was a given. Uh, like, yeah, right, right. got to work on my speech or something like that. Or no, that was the follow-up. Like, it'll be an honor to induct Nash was his first one. Like, right. as if it was official. And then he had a follow-up later in the day that says, just so fans know, and then I'm paraphrasing, just so fans know, like, I haven't officially been asked yet, but it's... Seems like it's a formality. A formality or something like yeah, that. Yeah, which is weird. Is that and a now snub? I'm here. I'm, I'm thinking like Shawn Michaels is doing it. So, uh, but is that like a snub? Like Kevin Nash talks to Mick Foley and he tells Mick, "Hey, I want you to induct me." And well, then he talks to Sean and he says, "No, I want you to induct no, me." No, no, wasn't that? And then he's got to go back to Foley and say, ah, "I picked uh, Sean instead." You know, wasn't <laughs> you that? Know? And what was weird is that just Foley in general and Duck and Nash, they have like no connection at all. None, like, I know. They weren't in WCW at the same time, unless during the early days, maybe Cactus Jack and, like, uh, the Master Blaster or one of those fucking characters he did. Right, and the, right. The Oz, whatever the but fuck. Not anything main event. Nothing main event. And then when right. Foley went over to ECW, Nash never was in ECW. And then with the WWE, Nash was in the middle of doing the NWO thing. So they were never crossing paths. By the time the NWO came to WWE after the invasion and WCW bought and all that, Foley was retired already. So they really never crossed paths. Like, why the fuck would Foley be the guy, like, well, that's usually you have a friend yeah, was that it a can, joke? Usually you have a friend that can tell stories about you up there. Like, oh yeah, right. I met him back in this, you know, and we right. used to ride and do it. I don't but know. Foley's tweet did not come across like a joke. It was It could have like, been a, it's probably as simple as WWE wanted some star power on the Hall of Fame right, as a draw. Right. right. Cuz it does there on TV an edited version uh, on the USA Network in America. Right. North America. And uh yeah, I can't explain it. I, I would just assume they wanted, like, a name name. Uh, and, all How right, do you think Foley, Foley feels about that? I don't know. It depends on if he was really asked. Right, or, or, right. I don't know. Well, he said he hadn't been asked. Uh, yeah, uh, with but why would he... Put. Maybe Nash said, I, I'd like you to do it to him That's what personally. I said to you. Yeah, and then they went with Sean and Maybe, Stan maybe and they said, they told Nash, like, try and find a guy that's not part of WrestleMania weekend already. Right. That doesn't have a role already. With and a name, know, so that we have a big name, and, and, and he said, all right. And then maybe well, you know how they feel about Foley, too, with yeah. Triple H, especially Triple H and Kevin Nash, that whole friendship, and yeah. the way Triple H apparently, reportedly, feels about Mick Foley. Well, there's, like, and, different things. Like, you know, half the people that, that know Triple H or talk to Triple H think that he hates Foley. Right. Not Triple hates, H, so that's a strong word. Triple but H like, says he doesn't. And right. then the other half, and then Triple, of course Triple is not going to say it. <laughs> he's not going to, he's trying to be Mr. Right. Corporate Guy now. Oh, uh, yeah, no, he loves Ultimate Warrior, right. even though he fucking hated his guts for squashing him. I know. First ever WrestleMania, but, yeah, I don't know, man, it's a, it's a weird one. All right, uh, one other thing, um, um, Natalia is going to, uh, induct, uh, Medusa, oh, Alundra Police. Yeah. Um, we know that, uh... Uh, well, we got Randy the whole Sa list on your site, but yeah, Randy Savage is going to be inducted Hogan. by uh, Hogan. I can swear it should be Lanny Poffo. 
Lanny Poffo came out today in an interview. I don't know if you've seen it. Talking about the but Stephanie he talked about rumor? The Stephanie, yeah. uh, the affair rumor with uh, with that whole thing. We know that. Um, well, you don't know because this is like an old infamous story. Infamous means everybody knows about it. You know, it's like an underground. Infamous B E. Yeah. <laughs> he stole that from Mob Deep, by the way. It was Did he? Infamous QB or something like that. Is that what it was? Yeah, <laughs> no, he made his screen name that. But uh, inside joke. Mark. Anyways, um, the the uh, rumor was that basically, in a in a sentence, pardon the graphic nature of how I'm going to describe it. Basically, Randy Savage fucked Stephanie Man before she was a, an adult, when she was a minor, under eighteen. He that was the rumor. He fucked her right in the pussy. Yeah. <laughs> that was. Graphic and childish, like mixed together there, but dude, you've never seen the video of the news anchor that's doing a news segment, right? And the guy comes up behind her. <laughs> the guy comes up behind her and he goes, "I fucked her right in the pussy or something." No, I got it. One of the viral go, It's one of the viral bit. When we go off the air, that's where the reference came from. You got everybody uh, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> there's the thing. You guys got a YouTube. If you haven't seen it, and then the guy comes up. A woman's, uh, a news anchor's cutting the promo, or uh, doing a story, and the guy comes up, I fucked her right in the pussy. Uh, was it a black guy? No, it was a white redneck, redneck of all... Oh, redneck. an older guy, right? An older redneck. Yeah, you redneck. showed me that once. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, fucked yeah, her right yeah, yeah. in the pussy. <laughs> I remember that now, yeah. Well, no, he wasn't, like, in the back, he was being interviewed, right? Uh, I think, yeah, I think he, he was... He was actually the subject, he was and he the guy being interviewed. came out and said it. And yeah. out of nowhere, he says, I fucked yeah. her right in the pussy. <laughs> I'm picturing, like, a Joey Boots, Howard Stern thing, where they... It hijacked the interview. Bubba Booey, Bubba Booey, Howard Search Penis! You know, they come in and do that kind of shit. But. <coughs> right. But anyway, um, so that's the story with Randy Savage and, uh, and Stephanie McMahon. It's never been confirmed. No, and it's most likely bullshit, but I'll, uh, you know how. What's the uh, the, the catchphrase? Tele, telegraph, telephone, tele wrestler. So, like, when a rumor happens in the wrestling business, it spreads like it wildfire. Goes crazy. So, right that there. was a rumor That's back right. in the day. But, yeah, it was probably bullshit. But because it was such a risque rumor, everybody spread it. And then, like, a lot of people thought it was true. You yeah, know? yeah. And it's, 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 it's lived until now, dude. It's I mean, it's been still an infamy. It was infamous. Right. But, uh, yeah, it all started, like Papa explained in the interview. Uh, and this was, I was surprised they made a part of Randy Savage. And I'll be quick here. But I was surprised they made a part of his documentary, the WWE documentary they came out with. Mm-hmm. This year, I think it was this year or late last year, they addressed it towards the end. They even showed the video clip. It all stemmed from Triple H and Randy Savage had beefs. That Triple H said something about Savage in an interview that pissed him off. Basically called him old, said he was past his prime. Some shit. And Savage got pissed. Right. And, and basically said, I'm a fucker in the put. He said, I'm going to take your girl, drive her around the block, have some fun with her, and then bring her back to you. You know what I mean? Like... It was around the time he did the rap album, Hulk Hogan, Be a Man, all right, that, all right, that, right, and he was right. losing his mind, but yeah, so yeah, it stemmed I from know, that, know. and then it just spread, and then it became uh, folklore. You're going to watch the Hall of Fame. I know Absolutely. you look forward to the Hall of Fame more than WrestleMania every Usually, year, and this year I'd say it's a tie for how little I care about both, but, because there's right. not any, like, usually there's a good speech that you're like a big, like a fun legend that you can't wait to hear talk, like right. Savage would have been awesome, right? but he's dead. Right. So right. we're going to hear, it'll, oh, that's why, Hulk Hogan will probably induct him, and then Lanny Poffo will do the acceptance, or probably, or some shit. Maybe that's what it'll be, where I think we see probably Lanny on, on general, stage tonight. If he's yeah. got a daughter, yeah. or a son, or something, you know, um, all of them. The only thing we know about the Hall of Fame, I mean, Alundra, 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 Alundra yeah. Blaze, and uh, Medusa, you guys, most of you guys know her by Medusa, you older fans from WCW where she threw the women's title in the trash bin and, and all that stuff. But Did you uh, say trash bin? Trash bin. Alright. Uh, I've never heard an American say bin before. Trash can. Yeah, that's the American. Dumpster word, yeah. trash can. But anyway, uh, she says that she's going to ruffle some feathers. Is that what she said? Tonight at the uh, at the Hall of Fame. So never know. We've got that. Um, but other than that... And there's been no big... I mean, we talked about it on Tuesday. We were thinking about doing a live show after the Tuesday show that we do. For those of you guys that are new uh, today, this afternoon, uh, that have never listened to us, we're here every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. You guys can catch us. We run down Monday Night Raw, talk the latest news, rumors, all that good stuff. MMA, all the stuff from the past week. We're here every Tuesday night. Phone calls. Phone calls, rapid fire. We're here every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. So if you guys like what you hear today, 
Tune in every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. But we were talking about doing this show, the WrestleMania show, after WZR on Tuesday night. And you had said to me, well, a lot of times it's breaking news. Yeah. You never know if anything big. There's probably been Can nothing. Can you get that cherry off my computer, please? <coughs> Jesus, dude. There's, uh, Just sit there burning. Right. He's staring at it. Yeah, it is. It is Douchebag. Uh, there is, uh, <coughs> there is nothing big that has happened over over the past week. Is it burning you know? the floor, by the way, over there? Or did it burn out? Mm. All right, it looks good. All right. Um, no, there was something big, wasn't there? Oh, the Goldberg thing, but something. that was, or Goldberg, the Lesnar thing, but that was right before WCW. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that, so, because he, re, uh, he yeah, re- on Monday, yeah. Call any ma- well, they changed the uh, lineup. That's it, though. But there other than that, there any, hasn't been any major, any major incidents or yeah, anything no, like, that. like that. A lot of times when people get together at, like, this big WrestleCon convention, right, and you've got, like, 50, 50 plus names at WrestleCon, yeah, a lot of big, big names, of like, kind of yeah, I know that Ashley Mazzaro is booked for WrestleCon, Tammy Sitch is booked for WrestleCon, um, yeah, and you've got Ashley and Tammy, and you know that whole thing, so what happens if the two of them meet up at WrestleCon? Do meow. they, you know, meow, <laughs> you know, does something happen, or the people that have beef from in the past, do they get into it, are there any fights, are there any altercations, there's been nothing like that as of right now, um, and who knows, <laughs> we've got WrestleCon <laughs> ongoing today. Brian fucked that computer right in the pussy, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so and that's it, man. There's been no no big news. Hall of Fame coming up in a couple hours on WWE Network. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to check that out. And then tomorrow night we start with WrestleMania, man. We start with so WrestleMania. 30, 31. We've got the uh, we kick it off with the pre-show, like we talked about earlier. Two matches on the pre-show. Well, before we do that, since Hall of Fame tonight, which which induction are you looking forward to the most? Which inductor? Like I'm looking forward to the Bruno inducting Larry Zbysko. Uh, that'll be fun, you know. Brutal. That'll be fun. I think, Nash, I think Kevin Nash. I think Kevin Nash will be good. I don't think it's going to be good. You don't think Nash will I be don't. good? I don't. Wow. I think Kevin Nash is going to get up on stage and say, you know, I want to thank my boys in the clique and I want to thank Triple H and Shawn Michaels. You don't think he'll tell a few stories that are funny and... Uh, he, yeah, he may Come tell on, some man. stories, he's a, but he's, he's a charismatic. When someday. Nash, when Nash talks, man, it just seems like down and. Boring. He, tr- he tries to be laid back. I don't know, real cool. laid back. He's too and cool for school, and you know, I don't I care. I don't know, man. It's he always says, I don't, like, I don't care. I think he's going to be real brief, too. I think Nash is going to get up there, and he's going to be, it's going to be a, a maybe a 10 minute thank you. Well, they edit every, they make sure everybody's it. within a certain, they, they, they right. usually let him go. Like Flair's famous, infamously, was uh, like two hours his speech was. His Word of the speech. day, infamous. Thing. Yeah, this guy, right? Yeah. Uh, it was kind of it was infamous. Cause it was like a big yeah. thing everybody talked about. Like, goddamn, Flair went on forever. Oh, uh, yeah. Mr. T list. Mr. Yeah, T list. That's Jesus. what I was getting to. Like cool. now, ever since the Flair and all that stuff, and because it was for TV and this and that, you would think now that they're on the network, they would let people go and have fun, and it's their fucking final moment of their career, right? On that kind of a stage, really. But here's the usually. deal. Usually, here's the deal with the network, and I don't mean to cut yeah. you off, man. But they still try the, to program it. Yeah, the but, de- they're going to try to program it, but. The TV version that's going to air after Raw on yeah. Monday, of course, that's going to be edited down for one hour. Yeah. Tonight on the network, they're going to try to time it. Uh, but the, but that's it, what I was getting to. Like last horrible. year, they you would think with the network they would let people like like all right, don't go too long. You right. Know, like, try and keep it around 20, 30 minutes. You know, like, right. most if you yeah. have to, only for the important people. I'm sure right. the, the the who gives a fuck. People. Everybody else, ten minutes. Yeah. Or whatever. Right. Yeah. Connor's right. family, like all right, guys, you know. We're, we're, Time to wrap it Great up. thing we're doing here, but please don't take an hour talking Who about Who came it. out on stage with Mr. T? Was it Mr. T last year? Somebody it was came out on Mr. Stage. T and it. Yeah. Like, Come on, dude. Who the fuck was that? It was, was the so Triple H that came out I on stage. I wanted to say it was Triple H, but it wasn't. Fuck it was somebody stage. else. <laughs> Who the hell was it? It was somebody you wouldn't I don't expect. Remember. I, think. I don't I thought it was. Was you it Hogan? chat up. Was no, it no, no. It was. Who the hell was it? Somebody kept, when Mr. T went on and Kane. on about his mother, it was Kane. All right, right. Yeah, somebody you wouldn't expect. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. And thank go you, future WZROnline.com staff member. Oh, on G! There you go. But finish that. Uh, but but yeah, no, you would think with the network that they would let him go, you know, big names can have, you know, more time than little names, but they would let him kind of, I don't want to say unfiltered, uncensored, but like, you know, you have some fun with it. You're right. not going to worry too much about time, just try not to go nuts. Right. And then they edit it for TV. Of course. 
But last year was the first time they had the network, and they streamed the whole thing on the network, and then they added it for TV later, and they still kept people, like, they gave them, like, five minute yeah, windows yeah, yeah. Right, for the right. jobbers, ten minutes for the, you know, uh-huh. main eventers, and right. then Mr. T was the one that just didn't pay attention <laughs> to anything. He I don't care. He was blinded by the love of his mama and just fucking went off on a tangent. I think Savage gets a lot of time, uh, whatever they need for Savage. I think if, it's, if it was Savage, he would. I don't think they're going to let his family babble for 30 minutes. And, well, Bruno went on uh, for a while. But that's one where they're trying to side up. Like, we're right. finally getting them. But don't you think they're trying to do that to Savage's family as well, man? Same with Warrior. I think with they Warrior's want to their family. money. They, they, they've done the DVD already. Like, how much more can they squeeze true. out of that orange? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, And that's a harsh way of wording it yeah, and, yeah. A, and a but shitty way of thinking true. about it. But it is business, and that's right. probably the only reason a lot of this shit's happening, you know, is right. because they can make money off of it. So... Let's run it down. Let's do Top it. Top to bottom, man. Uh, get to our live Whoa, chat room, guys. Yeah, uh, WZROnline.com uh, slash chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. Awesome. Let me get one of these right over here. On yeah, right, right. yeah, I was just going to do that. I, used, I winked at it, and it was... <laughs> but uh, WZROnline.com. Get in there. Everybody's talking WrestleMania tomorrow night. The Hall of Fame as well. Um, we're just going to run down the card. Top to bottom. And then we're going to get out of here. Predictions? Um, if you guys were going to give our predictions... I haven't even thought about it. You should have I haven't either. God damn it. And I didn't write anything you down. You didn't time to even think. But there was a reason for it. <coughs> there was a reason. I gave you... You knew we were doing this on Tuesday night. Yeah, but I, I told you... Eight o'clock. Tuesday, I forgot. It is Saturday. Yet all goddamn week. <laughs> Up until so. two hours ago, I forgot we were doing it. Like, he reminded me this morning... So I should have known. So you had the list. Two I was hours. busy with work, and then no, and then yeah, well I guess, but I was <laughs> busy with work. Yeah. Normally when you come in here, I'm it sitting here busy. waiting for you, right? I'm like, busy. I've already got half the shit ready, and I'm waiting. You come in today, I'm still in my pajamas with a blanket on because it's cold in here, and I'm. You woke me up this morning, yeah. man. I was in there with What's Jacob. That got to this, do with guy, anything? this guy walks in this morning and he says, "Hey, hello, yeah. it's WrestleMania time. Get up." Well, he was my alarm, right. and he didn't get up. But anyways, oh, yeah. That. I but no, but you're usually I'm ready for you. This time <coughs> I was busy working, so I didn't even have fucking... I keep forgetting we're doing this. So you, you come in and start like, hey, yeah. it's time. And I'm like, what? And right. then in my head, I'm like, oh, shit, WZR. You know. We're just going to have to pick us up. What are you going to do? All right. i got to do the same. I don't want to be wrong, though. I haven't thought about anything. We should have grabbed... Do you have a pen over there? Yeah, grab me that pencil right there. Is that a pencil? It's a marker. Grab me a pencil. I'll take that. And then uh, a pencil. we'll write it down. And... Uh, yeah, whatever. Right here whatever. You got a piece of paper? No, a piece I got of paper. Get to our live chat room, WZROnline.com. Lots and lots of people. We're all talking WrestleMania and the Hall of Fame tonight. We're going to write down our uh, our predictions. Look at that. Can they, does that read on camera? What's that? What is that? What's uh? <laughs> Be careful, I'm show you, uh, Be careful now. Be careful now. What just your happened ad- there? You get your address and, and everything else. No, I had it sent to my sister and then she uh, oh, brought boy. it over. But anyways. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that didn't give it away. Douchebag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, man. Well, anyway. I'm a good actor. <laughs> you just fucking blew it. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't get my phone number right on the air. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I got JR's barbecues beef jerky sent to my sister. Uh, she brought it over. Guy doesn't think. Oh look! All right, These are stickers. <laughs> oh, is that what they are? Stickers? Yeah, I'm gonna put one on here. We should put it on the. Uh, no, it. put it up there. Wait a minute. It's Wait not. A minute. It was a little side piece. I'll put it up there. Here we go. Put it on the uh, computer so we can have that every week. Oh. 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 Do we have it centered? Yeah. Can we get the WWE logo up there? There you go. There you go. The WWE <coughs> logo. It doesn't even read on camera. Anyway, let's go. It's too white. We've got another one. Uh, you ripped it. All right. Uh, all right. So, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, do you have something that I can, that I can like a, a better piece of paper that I can write on here? Got this one, too, but it's got shit. Oh, there you go. Yeah, let me get that. Is that something you need? Because I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know what oh, I just thought. Oh, you shit. know what that is? Yeah, from, I do now. From when Alice. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we can hold to the camera right there. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to do predictions here. I will uh, put this up here. I got a pencil or a marker, and uh, we'll do our predictions. Pencil? So, with an eraser on it? Yeah. 
We got the, uh, we got the pencil. All right, here we go. So we're gonna kick it off with the pre-show once again, guys. The uh, the pre-show starts at five o'clock Eastern time, five to I don't seven. Even know who's in that, but. Five to seven Eastern time. This is the card I pulled up. Do you have a better card or no? No. All right. Um. Five to seven Eastern time. What do you think? Five to seven Eastern time. Uh, that's the pre-show, and then the live WrestleMania pay-per-view is going to be from seven to ten forty-five Eastern time. As always, you on WCR. Said seven, uh, seven to eleven. Fun. As always, we're going to have um, live audio. We can't do video streaming of the event, but if you guys are having problems with the network, if you're not ordering it, if you're going to check out our play-by-play -play updates, we're going to do the play-by-play. -play. We're going to do all that stuff. We're going to have live audio where you can get play-by-play -play updates. You can read the results as as the matches air. Um, there's going to be 25 to 30 updates per match and in addition to that, you guys can listen to the audio where you'll be able to hear the announcers, what's going on in the ring. WZROnline.com, we're going to have that and the text play-by-play -play updates. All right, so we're going to kick it off in hour number one on the pre-show. In hour number version. one yeah, yeah. with the Fatal 4-Way tag team match, tag team title match, Fatal 4-Way. Hmm. It's going to have Tyson Kidd and Cesaro against, two of the current champions, yes. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, against... The New Day against the Los Matadores against the Usos. I'm going to say this. I'm going to rule out Los Matadores. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm ruling them out. I'm also going to rule out a New, a new day. day. All right. And I know that they've been on TV in recent weeks, but I'm going to rule both of those tag teams out. That leaves us with the current champions in Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, who it looks like they've got pretty big plans for. I mean, they just came out with new t-shirts. They just Burger King up. chicken fries. <laughs> yeah. Mid-card yeah. plans, tag team title plans. So that leaves us, in my opinion, with Tyson Kidd and Cesaro against the Usos. I oh, you. am going to go... With? And we know that Jey Uso's injured, but he's going to be able to compete. I'm going to go Kid and Cesaro. Don't even need to think about it. I'm going Kid and Cesaro as well. Now, if you want me to give an explanation like you just did, I agree with go everything ahead. up until the Cesaro... Or no, I believe, pretty much I agree with everything. Okay. I limit it down to Cesaro and Kid and Uso's as the guys that could possibly win. And then because Jay's injured, yeah, i got to go with Cesaro and Kid retaining. All right. Plus, so we'll if they don't switch the titles in the pre-show. Although, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, they like to switch the they titles like in the pre-show. They like to switch the titles. Yeah, we've already got one title But it's change. only hour one. What can happen? It's only hour one. This no is happening in hour one. Yeah. My point being is they like to do that in the pre-show. Oh, we've already had one title change hands. What else can happen tonight? If you're a kid, that actually means something. I could, under I could understand that <clears throat> if it was at the end of the pre-show. We're going into WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, it's What's even, the last thing you saw? It's even better in the beginning because, God, the first match of the night, the titles change hands. This is a crazy yeah. night, folks. What else is going to happen? You know, I That's can, the opposite of, of yeah. mine. Which <laughs> where is good, too. Right, yeah, the right, last thing you see. But they don't, they don't end with the match. Usually the, the match will probably be done the last match, the, the battle, and then they'll have like 20 minutes of bullshit and left. Right. So it's right, not like right. we go straight from a title change into the show, even if it was the other way around with the Right, matches. right, right. All right, and this, this one I'm going to throw I, I don't know. I don't know either. Um, you're right there with us. We don't have the names I got of the it. people. I just figured it out. And there's going to be some surprises in the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial. Memorial Andre, Battle Royal, yeah. the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Yeah, I hate that long name. Holy Even when hell. You, you headline when you're trying to do it, yeah, post on You got this much space, <laughs> and you're like, I got to put the match takes up the whole headline. Wait, I can't put changes to the Andre, you know. All right. Uh, uh, right let down. us know in the chat room, too, guys, uh, your predictions, and we'll kind of name you guys. As, yeah, as we'll, we'll take a peek. Right. I'm going to have you write down the name Seamus on that piece of paper. For Ooh. Me. Man, I don't want to copy you, but I may have to. He's not even announced yet, right, for the match? No, it would be a surprise. But that would make sense. Because we did report, that would be a spoiler, by the way, I'm sorry to say to everybody. That he is returning. That they have him in the script for the show, so maybe it's just a segment backstage, maybe, you know, who knows, but that can would I, make the most Can sense. I take that from you? Do whatever you want. All right, yeah. I'm going to take that from you. Uh, Boone says Sheamus is going to win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. So does Ranji eat. Ranji also yeah. in the uh, in the chat room. Guys did, yeah. Here's uh, DJ 
DJ Tro whatever Truck LMP. He yeah. says Ryback is uh, is going to win. Dino UK uh, talking about Sheamus. A lot of people Eagles with uh, Sheamus, yeah. Stone Cold Rider uh, or Stone Cold Ryback. Vigilant Burns. <laughs> That's Sheamus. the good one. Winners there. Ryback's got Mizdow. All right, we've got a Mizdow. All right, I like Mizdow. Ryback was going to be my pick until I sat here and said, "Oh, Sheamus." I like Mizdow. Yeah. Um, I think they've got. Uh, I think Mizdow's got all the potential in the world. We got a couple of Mizdow. I also think that they 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 see Mizdow as a a comedy act, a, a comedy Clearly. type character, yeah. and for him to, I actually think Mizdow's probably going to go out early, just because they view him as a comedy character. Well, now, yeah. if they were to take him out of that gimmick and try to make him a badass or do some sort of gimmick change, but I would say yeah. I got no two doubt. thoughts on that. A, Mizdow's clearly eliminating Miz during that match, and that's how they branch off, start the program, right. maybe even on Raw the next night, whatever. Right. So clearly, clearly it's coming. I thought they were going to do that match at WrestleMania, I did too. By the way. My second thought would be, what the hell did I just read? Uh, fuck. Um... Oh, no, no, not Reed. You, you're talking about, oh, he's a comedy character, so he can't win this kind of a match. Cesaro won it last year, and they didn't do shit. They kind of demoted him after winning it. You would yeah. think that would be the springboard and the, like yeah. the king of the ring. Right. The first guy that wins it, if you do something with him, all of a sudden, winning the king of the ring means something. Money in the bank. The first guy that wins it cashes in, wins the world title. Right. All of a sudden, money in the bank means something. You would mm -hmm. think they, if this is going to be the new tradition at WrestleMania, which it is, make it, making, me, make it, make it, make yeah. it mean something. Absolutely. They absolutely did not make it mean no, something. Not last year. Zorro's a fucking... Well, they put it with Heyman last year. Zorro's the opening match of the pre-show in a match that has <laughs> fucking four tag teams one of which is Los Matadores <laughs> with a fucking bull in a costume, you know. But they are tag team so champions. One year, well, one year <laughs> later, he's in a match with a furry bull and some guys with masks on. But he's tag team champion as well. Stop you can it. look at the other side of that. How much does the tag team champion? How much does the tag team champion? Nothing. <laughs> They're kicking off the Nothing. free show. That's how much being the tag team champion means. But he's a champion. Stop it. All right. I don't. I can't even defend it. <laughs> All right. So then we get into the actual. That's the pre-show, right? We don't know the order of the pay-per-view. We don't know. We're going totally out of order here. Yeah, um, so we'll skip around. But we've got that. Whoo! Scaring me there for a second, man. All right. Um. So we will start it out with. I think, and I agree with this. I know this is not the exact order, but I think they kick the show off hot. Where you're gonna have a big match. To open the show. And and some in a match that the performers are good workers and it'll be a good match to set the tempo. You gotta set the tone. <gasps> you gotta set the tempo. The tone, yeah. You gotta you gotta kick WrestleMania off. So, so you're going with course. AJ Lee and Page versus the Bell. Go with AJ Lee and no, Page. Right. <laughs> um, all right. So to kick off the uh Not the that show. that'll be a bad match, by the way. It could be good. You've got AJ Page and the Bellas. And the Bellas are, aren't I think the Bellas are underrated. I do too. I think they're pretty I do fucking too. good. So let's say that they go this route and and they kick it off with Randy Orton against Seth Rollins. I'll agree with that. And we'll pull up the the uh, chat. I'm gonna kind of do the match and then view the chat room so that we can take you guys too. Okay. All right. So we're doing this one next. Seth Rollins against Randy Orton. I'm gonna say, I uh, see. This all depends, as far as I'm concerned. Does Seth Rollins by the end of the night? Does he use that Money in the Bank briefcase? And if that's the case, I think he wins against Orton, and I think he wins with the briefcase as well. If he's cashing in, I think he defeats... But yeah. See, I don't he think can so. afford the loss if he's going to cash in. And win. I, I get that. I yeah, get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I think I can see him the following night on Raw saying, I defeated Randy Orton, and I cashed in on the same night and now I'm WWE champion, or something along those lines. Where if he comes to Raw and he says, "Well, I lost to Randy Orton, but I still won yeah. the WWE title," so does he cash in or not? I'm gonna. S I don't want to leave dead air, but yeah, I don't know why you're thinking. I'm gonna that. say. No, I'm gonna of, say. I've got. And not only here. that, but let's say that this does kick off the show. We have no idea. I'm gonna say Randy Orton. I'm going Randy Orton here. You can rate Randy Orton for me as well. I pick Randy Orton for two reasons. One, right. he just came back. This is his first singles match of any kind, maybe, but definitely his first singles pay-per-view match. 
Uh, so they're not going to have him lose, especially when it's his first match as his new babyface character. That's true. It's He's his first start match off, back, right? Yeah, first pay-per-view match for sure. All and right. I think it might even be his first singles match. He had a couple of matches where he was pretending to be part of the authority still and stuff like that. But All right. I think for that reason, they start him off as a, as a hot babyface with a win over a, a name. You know, Seth a Rollins. big name. Seth Rollins is the yeah. top. He owned the company, arguably. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or at least one of them. And then because Rollins has the money in the bank, I would say he can afford the loss if they make him whole later on after the fact. So I go with Randy Orton. Now, does Rollins cash in before the end of the show? I've got like three scenarios in my brain. We'll talk about that later. And, I, I, and okay. I'm going to save those All for the minute. Right. Uh, we've got uh, Chris Brown says, if Rollins loses, makes his cashing in and winning the title more credible as a surprise. I agree with that. And it shows the unpredictability of having that briefcase. You can lose a match yeah. and still on the same night become the champion. Well, that's yeah. not what I said. You know, I said that Rollins would win both matches. That's what uh, you said. But I do, I do agree with what he said, with yeah. what he said as well. Um, that's what he said. KC Computer Mike or Rollins attempts a cash-in at Raw for he ratings. Said. I think they may hold off the cash-in for Raw. I think maybe... I, I, I don't think he cashes in at WrestleMania, man. I think they save it the following night at uh, at Raw. Walk out of here, man. <laughs> Get your uh, David Letterman bullshit had, uh, out of here. What are you Tasma- Tasmania on the desk. He sees them cashing in. He yeah, sees them cashing in at uh, at Raw as well, Tasmaniac. Winner's Lair says Orton, Ranjit Orton. Um, well, let's see. Vader Man 86, I think him cashing in may depend on how the main event goes. Obviously, a couple uh, and then all right. Let's see here. We've got. Where do you want to go next? Well, Rusev oh, and yeah, John Cena next. This is for the United States title. Now, I know Jackie ain't gonna like me for this, and Rusev has never lost. He's never lost a singles match via pinfall or submission. I think he's lost by DQ. By DQ, yeah. right. So he's had one loss, but it's by DQ. Never lost Maybe by pinfall Maybe more than one, submission. but definitely never lost by pinfall. I've been saying it for weeks and weeks now. They're building up this whole Russia versus America. John Cena's our American hero. Uh, you know, John Cena is all about America, and at That's WrestleMania, exactly said about at WrestleMania 31, he's all about WrestleMania. Yeah. This is, you know what? It's exactly you're right. You're right. Your head. I'm like, dude, but I'm you really this? swagger's the guy to break it. Basically. John Cena, John Cena Ugh. is WWE. It's our hero. It's the fans' hero. He's all about America. Rusev won at Payback when they fought. This is Payback for John Cena. John Cena gets Payback oh my God. from the Payback pay per view. He lost a John fast Cena. lane, bro, not Payback. Oh, I'm sorry to blow up your little play on words there, but he lost a fast lane, not payback. <laughs> why, did you go, why did you go along with payback for so long? I wasn't paying attention to you, and then when you kept going with the payback, I'm like, he didn't lose a payback, that's why. You went away with payback for so long, and it made perfect sense. I'm still going, John. I love how it makes sense to I'm going, John. When he hears one word that, like, oh, it's a play on words, it makes sense because the words make sense. Stop it, David Letterman. Um, You're going you Rusev. should retire just like So go Rusev. Rusev. I'm going with John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why? Because he's going to get paid, but no, because uh, <laughs> I think Lana, <laughs> I think Lana comes back here and distracts him somehow. But either way, Cena wins. If he's not in the main event or even a really important match at WrestleMania, which he's not really, then he's not definitely going to go to WrestleMania and have a match that doesn't really mean that much. Although, I mean, I guess it kind of... He's definitely not going to Mania to lose in a mid-card match. There's no fucking way. So, for that reason, yeah. And if you want me to get specific, yeah, I think Lana is involved somehow because she hasn't been around. There's friction with Rusev and Lana, so that mm-hmm. would And they get after this match, if they, which we heard that they're continuing on with Rusev Cena. So, they could continue on and then branch out after the follow-up after this pay-per-view with yeah. a Rusev-Lana have issues program and then throw somebody else into that mix, you know, once Cena's done. The payback thing. Let it go, coming. man. <laughs> the payback thing's got me, man. Let it go. Lana, I didn't think about Lana. Um, but but yeah, I could see Lana at the pay per view taking a break from the film. Yes. Um, that or the, yeah, or at least giving her the night off so she could be part I of could, it. I want to hear what Jackie has to say. Can can you load the phone lines real quick? All right. Um, I'm not gonna plug that. I just want Jackie to call. All right. All right. Um, the next match up is we'll go with AJ Lee and Paige against the Bella Twins. Hmm. 
This is a tough one. This is a tough one. At least when I first start thinking about it. I like to like, I love when you go first because I can get the bad ideas out of the way quick and then I can come up with a good one. Yeah. I don't ever have good ideas. <laughs> no, you do. I'm, I'm, that was a joke. But yeah, no, I like to hear your thoughts because then it gets me thinking and then I can figure out based on what you say. Like, well, um, AJ Lee and Paige, you know, they teased tension this past week, especially on SmackDown. So they could... Uh, all right, I've already got mine. Out. There you go. Uh, all right. They did tease tension between the two... Uh, they're building this whole frenemies thing up. They've already built it, but yeah, it's it's reoccur it's coming back. They've had tension in the yeah. past. I'm gonna say I'm going AJ Lee and Paige. I think they overcome that tension. I think they're all good at the pay per view and they finally at WrestleMania they team up and they de defeat the Bellas. Alright. So I'm going AJ. For the exact Paige. reasons he just said I'm going with the obvious correct answer, which is the Bella twins. AJ right. Lee and Paige have problems, it costs them the match. But yeah. You think so? You think they're going to do that at, at WrestleMania where they continue teasing the problems? We've already seen yeah. a big, lawn out, long, drawn-out feud with AJ Lee and Paige. Yeah. We saw it a couple of months ago. We've seen that, and I feel like, all right, they've had issues in the past. Now at WrestleMania, and even now, yeah. they're still kind of teasing. Well, what's the last thing the we saw? I didn't watch that SmackDown promo, and apparently this was like one of the key segments of SmackDown. Did you watch it? It was. Uh, AJ Lee and Paige were out in the ring. The Bellas came out on stage teasing tension between the Did two. Did they show that part where Nikki said that AJ's defended her tire was less than less? They said Nikki Bella said, we'll see that. you. She said, we'll see you at WrestleMania, you bitches, or something like Forget that. that. There was a report that Nikki shot on AJ, and, and it, but it might have been part of the script, and we would know when the show aired, if they aired the line, then it was part of the script. If they didn't, they were kind of shooting. shooting. It seemed so like the it was question is, did Nikki say something to the effect of, AJ, you haven't even defended, when you were the Diva champion, you yes. didn't even defend it as much as Brock Lesnar. Yes. And he's got a part-time They left champion. it in there. They left it in That was okay, in there so on SmackDown. Either she did shoot and they left it in or it was part of the script. Either way, you've been here. You've defended that title about as much as Brock Lesnar. Okay. That, that line was left on okay. SmackDown. So they had that in there. And then AJ Lee and Paige both said something along the lines of, you know, we've had issues in the past. We don't really like each other, but let's go to WrestleMania and beat the Bella Twins. Then that's when the Bella Twins come out on stage. They went back and forth. That's where Nikki Bella said you've defended the title. Yeah, about as much as you're right. going with the Bellas. All right, Jackie. So tomorrow night is WrestleMania 31. Rusev and John Cena. Tomorrow late afternoon, actually, but yeah. <laughs> Boone, Boone and I are both picking John Cena to defeat Rusev. What's cracking in Jackie Land? I'm. I'm. I'm still going with Rusev because oh. somebody tells me Lana's going to get involved because I she she's in California. I saw a picture of them together last night with a fan, and I'm like, okay, everything's going to be okay tomorrow, after tomorrow night. He's going to win. And I'm picking Orton over um, Rollins. And for the tag team match, I'm going to have to go with the Usos. Or the New Day, or Los Matadores. Wow, so you're Andre picking. Battle, wow, all right, all right. Who's and for the Andre Battle Royal, uh, I'm going with Big Show and Or Kane. All right, all right, and then and. I'm, I, I, and. I'm saying, I'm saying AJ and Paige are going to defeat the Bellas. Say AJ and Paige? Boy, I disagree with everything. I no, disagree with AJ it. and Paige winning. I said AJ and Paige, but that's about it. I got... I thought I you got, had uh, Rollins winning, too. Boone and I got Kid and Cesaro. We got oh, Sheamus winning one. the Battle Royal. We got Randy Orton. We got John Cena defeating uh, Rusev. Boone's got the Bella Twins over uh, AJ and Paige A. Lee. Wait a minute. You AJ picked Rollins. Why'd you write down Orton? You I said Rollins is going to win it, and then cash, and then no, I said, the next I said it depended. I, I said it depended on if Rollins cashed okay. in at the end of the night. I said he's not going to cash erased. in. Let me see. You got the pencil there. No, he didn't erase. All right. right. I said if Rollins cashes in, I got you. I got he's going to win both Jackie's matches. Time. But yeah. all right, Jackie, what else you got? Roman Reigns and uh, and Brock Lesnar. Who's winning? I'm I'm going I'm going with Roman. You going and with Roman? Yeah, I'm going with Roman. And for the Intercontinental title, I'm either going with Daniel Bryan, Dean Ambrose, or Dolph Ziggler or our truth. Those are my you top can't four. Pick Wait a minute. Four you people just, in a seven-person match. You just took four out of the seven. You said I'm going you with Dean Ambrose. You gotta pick one. That's you the point of a prediction. Now, Jackie, we can't give you four out you of seven. You gotta pick one. 
Got to go okay. one. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going with the Ambrose. All Ambrose. right, I like that pick. That's All a good right. Pick. All right, Jackie. And, That's a great, that's a good pick. and I'm going with Triple H over Sting. Triple H over Sting. Wow. Ooh, okay. Wow. All right. Well, listen. We want to hear from you on Tuesday night. Right. Uh, Tuesday night. All right. So give us a call back on uh, on Tuesday and enjoy WrestleMania 31 tomorrow. All right. I will. And we'll talk to you on Tuesday night. All right. Take it easy, guys. We'll All talk right. to you later. All right. Be good, Jackie. There you go. There's Jackie. I picks. disagree with a lot of Jackie's picks. I gotta tell you. Right. I gotta tell you. All right. I so thought we had more differing opinions here. <coughs> I don't know if they all look the same. I know. I think we're gonna differ on this one. To be honest with you, um, I'm changing his picks when I hear when he hears my. I'm not changing anything. Let me see him again here, real quick. I haven't changed anything. So we've got one pick that's I, different. I could swear we disagreed on like two or three matches already. We haven't disagreed right. on anything. The only one all that right. we've disagreed upon is the Divas match that we just had. Okay. Um, we've got The Undertaker and Bray Wyatt. I don't... Listen. I know that Bray Wyatt defeating The Undertaker, it would do a lot to elevate Bray. Well, um, Taker's already lost. The Taker's already lost to WrestleMania, but it is still, I think the viewpoint from the fans that are young that don't really... It that, is. That it seems real. Good. It's almost like oh, Taker's passes. Like when Chuck Liddell started losing yeah, over and over and over again. Like all right, he's just he doesn't have it anymore. So it wouldn't be like oh, Bray's so much better than this legendary Undertaker. It would be Undertaker doesn't have it anymore. So does that help Bray? Right. right. You know what I mean? I just listen. Mm. I get it. It's the Undertaker. It's WrestleMania. Bray Wyatt. Let's say that Bray Wyatt defeats the Undertaker. He can come out the following night on Raw. I defeated the Undertaker, a guy that's only lost one time at WrestleMania. Right? Only lost one time, and I'm the second guy to defeat him. I get it. It would elevate Bray. It's WrestleMania. It's the Undertaker. We don't see the Undertaker until WrestleMania. I just don't see Taker losing. Back-to-back matches at WrestleMania. I don't see it. Uh, I know that Brock defeated him last year. <coughs> I don't see it happening again this year. I think the Undertaker. I think the Undertaker defeats Bray. That's. I'll leave you it. You can at write that. down Undertaker for me too. Yeah. And Are you? Well, obviously. Come I on. thought you were gonna. I thought we talked about it on Tuesday. Yeah. No. All right. No, Undertaker All right. will probably have his retirement next year in Texas, his home state. I think so. Uh, help fill that big ass stadium, and then his opponent will be somebody of of a big name, Stone Cold, Sting, fucking Brock rematch, something. Right. Uh, what was the scenario I told the Shalik the other day? I said something to the effect of maybe Brock, now that he's re-signed for three years. Stays champion all the way till next year's Mania. Don't get right. me off on a tangent because right, I'm gonna right, get confused. Right. Here. But right, he stays right. champion all the way to next year's Mania. He's an unstoppable killer from WrestleMania 30 on. He hasn't lost anything. Mm-hmm. He beat, <coughs> ended the Undertaker streak. First guy to do it. He squashed the face of the last 10 years, John Cena, at SummerSlam without Cena getting in any offense. He's been killing everybody. He keeps the title. He keeps winning. He fucking beats Roman Reigns, the next poster boy, and the man, blah, blah, blah. He stays champion all the way to next year's WrestleMania, and then they do the rematch. And then the rematch is career versus, versus title. I like that. And then guess what? Yeah. Taker wins, retires as champion. First guy to ever do it. Boy. If you're going to let somebody <laughs> retire as champion, you let the fucking dead man, man do it. Boy. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. You're going way out <laughs> Compared to some of your theories, I, I think I'm pretty in there. This is the boot theory. Listen, I go, no, no, I go, I I go out said, there all the time. I just said I don't expect that to happen. I know. I but know. I'm saying that would be a very... <laughs> I don't want to say the word polite. There's a better word. But it would be a very respectful way to let Taker go out. Like, like let it. him get his win back. Right. Keep the one loss thing at WrestleMania. That will still never be broken. And right. then, yeah, he nobody sees him winning the title. So you get your big WrestleMania holy shit moment right. in reverse. The first Taker Lesnar match, holy shit, Taker lost. Second one, if you put career versus title, I think everybody expects Brock wins. Nobody's expecting Taker's going to win the title and then continue for another year. But the twist is, he wins, wins the I title, and I then immediately it. retires as champion, forfeits the belt. I think we see so Brock. Shock and reverse. I think we see Brock versus Rock next year uh, at WrestleMania That's 32 very in possible. Dallas. Yes. I think we see that. But. It would be a yeah no, no I'm just saying awesome I mean, that would be to, fun to I don't out. think that's gonna happen all right so we but it would be got, fun we've go, both got the Undertaker there uh, we got the ladder match we've got uh, for the Ice title this is a tough one man I think this is gonna steal the show it's it's clearly designed to steal the show with the the guys in there I mean if you remember the Dolph Ziggler Luke Harper ladder match let's, from let's TLC 
Okay. It Go was on. maybe the best match of last year. Maybe it was the awesome. best match, but it was one of the best awesome. matches. Certainly one of the best matches of the last few months. And then you add to that element Dolph Ziggler and Luke Harper, who we know can work with a ladder and have an amazing match. You had you had Daniel Wade Barrett, Bryan, R Truth. Uh, Luke Harper. Uh, we'll just name them all. We've got Wade Barrett, R Truth, Dean Ziggler Ambrose. Harper, not Ambrose Harper. I'm sorry. Wade Barrett, R Truth, Dean Ambrose, Luke Harper, Dolph Ziggler, uh, Stardust, Daniel Bryan. Uh, yeah. I gotta go, Daniel. I gotta. Go I gotta Daniel. go, Daniel Bryan too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they don't give it to Daniel, God, that crowd is gonna flip. God, that crowd is just gonna. Flip well, I think Daniel Bryan's big man. thing is he wants to bring the IC title back, make it important. He wants to make SmackDown important, bring it back as a as a as a top tier show as opposed to the throwaway show. And that's what he's been saying. And I think WWE because they're not gonna use him as the main eventer or, or use him in the world title picture, they'll throw him a bone. Like, all right, we'll give you the IC title and try to elevate. We'll give that. you big matches on SmackDown, and right. if you think you can make them important again, then here you go, man. Have there you fun. go. I agree. Because it doesn't affect any that. of their important plans that they consider important. Like, oh, we don't want to fuck these up by helping this little shit in. But, oh, all right, you want just second title in the second show? Have fun. People in the chat room. Vader Man says Daniel Bryan wins. Dino UK, Ambrose, Eagles fan, Chris Brown also saying Daniel Bryan. Uh, Apple Jr. Who gained, gained some weight? weight. Yeah, why Ooh, would you read that? What? Yeah. I'm just going through. And yeah, that's what you're doing. Gained some weight, though. Yeah, he has. That's. What? Boone's gained some weight. No, but I think he's saying gain some weight. He's saying you're skinny. That's a good thing. No, he said I gained uh, some weight. He said Boone gained some weight. No, no, no I think he meant that he, it's a typo. I think he meant Boone gained some weight. Uh, I think he's uh, trying to be a smart ass. That's the guy that was trashing me this past Tuesday. All right. Uh, KC Computer Mikey says, uh, with Daniel Bryan going over, Dino UK says Ambro to kick Bryan's ass and turn heel. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Um, and then we've got Sting and Triple H. Man, I don't see Sting coming into WrestleMania. His first match in WWE. Possibly I don't, his only. Possibly his only. He That's came out in an interview. He came out it. in an interview today yeah. and said that this may be my final match. My first and my last. He told the Associated Press WWE. that yeah, if they need me for Survivor Series, maybe. I know there's talk about Undertaker and me next year, maybe, but this is probably going to be it. Now, now that could be that year after year in TNA. There you go. And he winds up resigning. There you go. Not, right. not just that, but like maybe he was told to like try and try and convince hype it people up. through the media right. that this is it. This is my only match ever. So that if he loses, it's more shocking than if he wins. Because if fans know this is it, well, obviously he's winning. Right. If they think this is it, and he loses, and then we get another one, like, oh, shit, nobody sees that coming. So that's the part that makes me think, maybe Triple H wins, but I can't pick against Sting. In Am team. I right there? Yeah, 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 no, right. I can't. But no, there was a part of me, honestly, that's... Really? They positioned it as WWE versus WCW. Originally. They're still Originally. Kind of, this past Monday on Raw, Stephanie, you were the face of WCW. I, I respect how you went down with the ship and yeah. your loyalty and this and that. That was this past Monday. I think it's more of the bat versus the sledgehammer yeah, you're now. You're focusing on the weapons too much. The angle is this Triple H is the WWE soldier. Always WWE through and through all these years. Yeah. Thing, WCW soldier all these years through and through. That's the, the angle. So how can WWE come out on the bottom on that one? That's the part that makes yeah, me think maybe yeah. they find a way to angle out of it. Someone fucks like, Stephanie. Somebody, maybe whoever Sting would work with next to Survivor Series, if he's going to do another match, maybe that. Maybe Bray Wyatt comes up, fucks him or something, you know. You never know. Do you think that Stephanie? Could Stephanie's you see Bray and Sting working together? That seems I like could, a match made I in could, heaven. No doubt. And no then doubt. Sting puts Bray over. Do you? Th- or, uh, let me Sting ask you this. Bray, but, yeah, do you yeah. think Stephanie's at ringside with yes. Triple H? You do. Yes. See, I think, and we know that she was there. By the way, last year. Let's talk real quick about the entrances. Uh, Triple H is going to come out in full-fledged Terminator gear, correct? Uh, Maybe. Uh, It looks that way. Look who reported it. Variety confirmed it. Did they? Variety confirmed it. Well, Variety had said something about that they're going to use imagery from uh, the new Terminator movie. Right. There was a follow-up from a certain website that said, "No, they're going full-fledged jacket, the whole thing." Right, but tri- I, and I think that's. I mean, Triple I could H. Say he likes Triple H. Every year yeah. comes out with a full fledged. Not only that, but, but, yeah, but that keep in mind part of it, that yeah, with no, uh, I agree with. You. Keep in mind that with uh, Rusev, they recently hired like fifty to a hundred soldiers, yeah, a bunch of uh, extras to pretend to be a soldier. I think Triple H gets a big entrance. 
I think uh, John Cena gets a big entrance. I think Rusev gets a big entrance. you got to um, think their opponents, too. So if Triple H is going a big entrance, so is Sting. Well, we know he is, because they hired a bunch of scarecrows. No, I thought we said that the guys that they hired, they were either going to be soldiers... Yeah, they hired scarecrows. There was I didn't the, see that. The, the Russian soldiers... Yeah, they right. posted like three things about it. The Russian soldiers and the scarecrows were the first two we posted. Then the third one was the Terminator imagery. They hired a bunch of guys to dress up the as same scarecrows? Extras that, no, the same extras that are going to be the Russian soldiers are supposed to be the scarecrows, too. All right. The I question was, is it going to be for Bray or Sting? Right. And we couldn't figure that out. We were kind of forced to guess. All right. We, we talked about that on Tuesday. Yeah. I don't remember putting something up about that. We posted it a couple times. Yeah. I don't remember putting it. All right. All right. I'll take I your word. I promise on. you. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but either way, if Triple H gets a big entrance, so does his opponent. Okay. If Rusev gets a big entrance, so, so does the does opponent, Cena. John Cena. Right, right, right. Uh, and what was the other one? That, that's it. Hey, by the way, they're bringing back. So obviously Reigns and Lesnar, they're not going to let them look like schmucks if all these other guys in the undercard are getting right, big entrances. Right, they got to right. get something, too. We know that uh, America the Beautiful <coughs> is uh, returning this year by a guy named Aloe Alec Black. Bla- yeah, Aloe Black. Black. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we know that the guys that performed the WrestleMania 31 Skylar themes. Gray, Kid Inc., and there's a third name that I'm not thinking of. Another guy that's on that. But oh, yeah, I got it right here. They're going to yeah. win. Oh, uh, fuck. Um. Uh, but, but we're going to have multiple musical acts. We'll open it up with America the Beautiful. We'll see if they do a flyover. Last year, they didn't have the David planes. Gutta, Gutta, something like that. That's not Gieta something or something like that. Yeah, that yeah. Like that. Um, they Last year, they didn't do a flyover where they have like four or five planes fly over. They sing America the Beautiful, <laughs> and then the flyover happens yeah, yeah, where yeah, yeah. the planes fly over. The is it, it's an open building? It's an open building. The Levi's. Levi's. They're not going to close it? Levi's. I said Levi's. Uh, they uh, they're yeah. not going to close it? It doesn't, like have a, it doesn't have a roof. It doesn't have one, what do they call it? It doesn't uh, have a detractable or whatever the fuck uh, it's called. Detractable roofs, yeah. right. Does anybody know the I word he said the other week? I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Levi Stadium yeah. doesn't have a retractable roof. Retract, I said detract, you're right, retractable. It doesn't yeah. have, it doesn't have a roof. Now, Dallas Cowboys Stadium next year does. Yes. They can, they it's can. Cowboys that. Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Cowboys in Arlington, Texas. Yeah. Right. I keep making Just like, uh. Up. Just like this, this year's WrestleMania is in Santa Clara. It no, is. It's in San Jose. It's in Santa Clara. Everybody says San Bro, Jose. That's like saying we're in Albany right now. We're not in Albany. We're in Waterville. All right, but everybody would say we're in Albany right now. Santa Clara. Nobody give a fuck about There's Santa Clara. There's a difference Clara. between a city and a city. Nobody, nobody cares about Santa Clara. Nobody cares about Arlington either, but it's true. Nobody cares about Waterville. Wow. They care about Albany. That's one. T- that's one chat. Man. It's got to be Acer. <laughs> it's got to be Acer. That's his fun. All right, uh, main event time. That's All it. right, man. Brock Lesnar. Ah oh, man. Ah. Oh. What's this Alpha Junior fucking guy's problem, man? Jesus. He doesn't man. like me. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. WWE World Heavyweight. I'm stalling for you. World Heavyweight yeah, Championship. Yeah, no, you can stall all you want. Cause Main I'm, event. I'm far away. Lesnar's from... re-signed. But, you, you. But Reigns is the you, guy. You first. Well, I got three things, so I got to like, talk pick, it out. You got to pick somebody. But I got to talk it out out loud. I haven't had time to think, so I'm going to think out loud. If you, you got like two minutes. To. Don't limit me. I'll they were in my room. Leave. I'll spend as much time as I want. My open. Yeah. <laughs> um, I could see... Lesnar retaining because he re-signed and let's keep this unstoppable thing going all the way on next year's main. <laughs> here's event. Jackie. Here's Jackie right here. Well, I'll pick Roman Reigns, but I'm also gonna pick Brock. No, no, no. Don't I'm talking it out loud. I'm <laughs> thinking, and I'll, I'll give you. A, I'll give you a name to put in that paper. All right. Uh, so that's my initial thought. But then my other thought is Heyman turns heel or turns heel turns. Yeah, Heyman turns. Heyman turns on Lesnar, which makes Lesnar a babyface. That's me. Heyman stays heel. Reigns turns heel is the shocker because Heyman helps him. And then I think maybe they even do a spot where, like... Like a it, double turn. No, did Heyman turn on Le- Like, does Reigns approve of the fact that he just got help from Heyman? Like, remember when Vince helped no, Austin? I get it. I know what you're Vince saying. Vince helped Austin against Rock, and nobody knew what was going on until they shook hands. And it's like, holy shit, Austin wanted him to do that. Like, Vince didn't right. do that on his own. Right. So, Heyman does something. Is Does Reigns approve of it? The answer is yes, if they go that route. Reigns turns heel. Fans want an excuse to boom. Vince nice. gives him an excuse. Heyman's his heater. He's his mouthpiece. Two things Reigns needs. Actually, he doesn't need a heater. Fans want to boom anyway. But now they give him a reason to boom. They give him a guy to talk for him. That would be my second one. I'll okay. just pick between those two, and I'll say... I, I, I'll give you my pick. Go ahead. Roman Reigns 
wins the WWE title. I'm going to say Brock Lesnar retains. You're going to say Brock. Good. I'm glad we That part of me that... Uh, listen. The scenario that makes most sense to me, Heyman turns, helps Reigns win. I think... No, they can't do that because then Reigns won't be an effective field. I was going to say... Heyman tries to help Reigns win, and Brock's such a badass that it still doesn't work. You know. All right, but yeah, my thoughts. Is I dare you to repeat what I just said. You weren't even fucking listening. Good. I wasn't. All right, Thank but you. uh, but uh, my my thoughts are this, and you don't have to listen to a word I say either. But my thoughts are this: uh, Paul Heyman, in recent interviews, I've just been noticing where Paul Heyman's like, I don't hate Roman Reigns. They had him sitting down with Michelle Beadle. I don't hate him, you know. Da -da -da -da. I did respect you watch him. When he interrupted, uh, like I just interrupted you. Did you watch when he interrupted on Sports Nation? I did. What happened there? Because I didn't watch it. It was uh, Roman Reigns was, was like there a, with Michelle Beadle. Over? He, he, didn't, he didn't trash him. He didn't trash him. It was Michelle Beadle and Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns went up and he was about to do, you know how they have the punching things and you punch it as hard as you can and it goes, the score goes up. Yes. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, you yes, punch yes, the yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. And he was about to punch it. Kind of like when and you have the sledgehammer and you go bing. Right. Bing, and it goes all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was about to punch, and Paul Heyman's music hits. Heyman comes out. His and music hits. That's Lesnar's His music. music. No, Paul Heyman's music hits. Heyman doesn't have music. Or uh, Lesnar's music okay. hits. My bad. Yeah. Uh, Lesnar's music, and, and Paul Heyman comes out, and Michelle Beadle's like, oh, no, what's going to happen? Oh, my God. And, <laughs> and. Paul says, I gotta watch this. Paul says, I don't dislike you, and I wish you the best of luck, but... You got a great family. My <laughs> client, Brock Lesnar, is going to defeat you at WrestleMania. He said, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Paul Hayes. his intro. And my go. client, Brock Lesnar, is going to defeat this man at WrestleMania 31. Okay. So, and then the show ended, or that's where the video clip that I watched... Ended. Okay. We never got to see Roman punching the thing. We don't that know was how it. strong his punch is. We don't know how punch. Yeah. But anyways, uh, my thoughts is I think that during the match. Damn, that's not Acer. Who the fuck did that one? I'm gonna say that during the match, Paul Heyman. Everybody knows that Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar, they're tight, right? They're tight, man. Paul Heyman, week after week, selling this match. Paul Heyman turns on Brock Lesnar, sides with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns gets the pin on Brock Lesnar. One, two, three. It's over. Roman Reigns, new champion. He's with Paul Heyman. So what does the crowd do? Well, Paul Heyman's with Roman Reigns now. Are they going to boo? They're probably going to boo. They're probably going to boo. You end like that. No Seth Rollins. No nothing. No nothing. You've got Roman Reigns. That was Paul. my third one. You've got you, nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nothing. You've got Paul Heyman with Roman Reigns come to Raw the following night. And there's your explanation. Seth, that Rollins, wants. Yeah. Seth Rollins with the briefcase, Roman Reigns, two former S.H.I.E.L.D. members. I don't know about all the briefcase stuff. But yeah, and everybody, that's, tunes, if they're in, gonna do the everybody briefcase, tunes in the next night to see they Heyman, see Heyman, Heyman explain and Reigns. What the fuck did he do that for? Why did he screw yes. Lesnar? Yes. Why does he screw? Why Correct. did he... So with that being said, I'm going Roman Reigns. And you know what? Comes to Raw with you might have just convinced me to change because Lesnar's got three... Because my thing is... Why? As soon as he re-signs, they beat him. But if you remember, when he first signed, mm. his first match was Extreme Rules against John Cena. Who won that match? His first match coming off the UFC into the WWE. Brock. Brock won. Cena won. And then Cena took time Oh, you're right. Off. And then they did a... a and then it Cena was took time right, off right, for right, injury. Right. So it wasn't even like, right, oh, right. Cena's our guy. Cena's injured. He's got to leave. We still <laughs> haven't seen him beat him. Did you because know why I they remember, did that? I remember talking I heard about why they did that. Cena was their main guy, right? I remember For the longest time, we, with couldn't, you. we couldn't figure out why they did that. I heard. Somebody told me why they did that. Do you want to know? Go ahead. Vince got it stuck in his head. We need to convince the fans that our top guy is John Cena. Can kick UFC's top guy's ass. So even though he's, he came, what it was, he came really? straight off the of UFC TV and pay per views and WWE. Let's have our top guy beat oh, him man, so that the dude. fans that don't know any better, you know, wow. wow, wow, John Cena beat the top guy in the UFC in his first match. So my point to all that is, I can't see Lesnar losing it right after re-signing because now they got three years to really do something with them, but they're fucking stupid. Right. So their mindset's probably we can have Reigns beat him, Heyman turn, all that stuff. I agree with all that. Yeah. And I said all that. Yeah. And I agree with all that. My only stick up was, but then Lesnar can't lose. It's his first match since he was. Yeah. yeah. And everybody knows he was. 
they in their head they're thinking we got three years to rebuild that fucking motherfucker and yeah. make him an unstoppable. Yeah, we got him on a contract, and, right? We can do it. Write Roman Reigns on that piece of paper. I can't do it. Write Roman Reigns on that piece. Of paper. You're asking my permission. You heard him. You heard him pick Brock Lesnar. No. You interrupted me before I finished. I would have worked that out in my own self. All right. Okay. All right. I got to write Roman Reigns on that piece of paper. So I convinced you, sort of, sort of. You pretty much did. I had to hear sort it. Of. I had to hear it for me to really think it. All so right. I'm going to give you the credit on that. If he wins, I give you the credit. If he loses, <laughs> I'm going to say, <laughs> you're going to transfer. Fucking Ryan right Clark changed my mind. <laughs> I was picking Lesnar. You know, no. I, I, All right. Part of me wants to tell you to scratch it out and put Lesnar back on there. It really does, part of me, but. Let's run it down from top to bottom. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we're going to kick off the pre-show. We've got the Fatal 4-Way uh, Tag Team Match for the Tag Team Titles, right? We're both picking uh, Tyson Kidd. By the way, you laughed at Jack if you're picking the Usos or something in the chat or something. I no, 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 no. She, picked, she said that she didn't pick Kidd and Cesaro. She said that it was going to be the New Day. It was going to be the Los Matadores. She mentioned Los Matadores first. Well, it was something in the then chat. Then she man. said the Usos. Then she said a New Day. So okay, well I had seen you react to somebody on the Usos, and I'm like, that's not that right. far fetched. Yeah, I know. Andre the Giant Battle Royal. <clears throat> We're both picking Sheamus to return, surprise return, and win. Kicks everybody's okay. ass. Uh, Randy Orton, Seth Rollins. We're both picking Randy Orton here. Uh, John Cena against Rusev. Both picking John Cena. Here. Okay, I thought you picked Rusev on that one. Did no, you? I said that John Cena's coming in. He's all about America. Oh, okay, you're right. You're right, you're right. You just first. got a dumb reason it's happening. Okay. First yeah. loss. None of that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, anyways. Yeah. All right. AJ Lee and Paige against the Be the Bellas. I pick AJ and Paige. Yes. You pick the Bellas. You think AJ and Paige are going to continue Cost their each other the match. Their thing. Yeah. Um, the Undertaker against Bray Wyatt. We both pick the Undertaker. Uh, the Undertaker. I don't see him losing twice in a row. You made your case earlier about... I was given a scenario to not right. make that prediction that he's going to return it, next we, year. You made a good case, though. I like that idea. Maybe if I'm a writer, I try and push that as, like, we need to do this, man. Uh, you know, um, they're not going The to, right? IC title uh, uh, ladder, ladder match, match. Yeah. we both picked Daniel Bryan. Yeah. If not Daniel Bryan, I'd say Dean Ambrose. Ambrose, yeah. All right. Or so Barrett Retains. Or Barrett Retains. There's a part of me that thinks that could happen. Just uh, you know. Sting against Triple H. We both pick Sting. Because they like him. We only yeah, agree yeah. on the Divas match. But, but I honestly, disagree on the Divas match. Honestly, I could, I could see Triple H winning that one, too. But I'm going to go Sting, yeah. Okay. All right. That's and the then, safe uh, bet. Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. We both pick the Reigns. safe bet is Brock on that one. But I'm going to... It is the safe bet. I know. I'm going to go with... You sold me. I'm going All with right. what you said. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Uh, WrestleMania, I believe in the chat room, because I just saw a comment from him, I believe Ryo, uh, Ryan Ennis in the uh, in the chat room was taking Ooh. your guys' predictions, the loyal diehards. You so do a post of it. WZR hopefully fans we can give do their something. ideas for WrestleMania. Uh, maybe I'll link Ryo's page, or if Ryo's got them all, post it. Uh, go to Ryan Ennis' page, or I'll put up something uh, on my Facebook page, and we can get all your predictions. Yeah. That's what I'll do. There's your headline. And then Ryan... Fans give their thoughts, or share their thoughts, on, or give their right. predictions on WrestleMania. Right. I'll do a, a post here in a couple of minutes when we go off the air. I'll get all your predictions. Ryan, who has already got a lot of your guys' stuff, hopefully he'll he write them down. Them in a nice way so he'll organize it, and then maybe send it to me in an email. He'll email it to you. I'll just print that it. out. I'll print... All right, no doubt. And I'll get the rest of them, if you missed any. Put it up on my Facebook. Yeah. You can write down. I'll print it out. Yeah, he and does read his emails. There. Uh... Despite okay. despite what fucking certain people think, I I'm read, not going any further than that. I I read, know, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Okay, I read every single one of my emails. That's all he asks you to do. Sometimes yeah. I don't get back immediately. It takes me a while to respond. But all my emails, I read them, man. Sometimes they sit there for a while, yeah. but I well, do read them. I've seen you get a fucking hundred <coughs> billion emails a day. There's a yeah. lot, of, especially this time of year. But. Uh, so anyways, uh, we'll get all your predictions, I'll print them out, come back here next week, kind of run them down, who was right, who was wrong, get you guys more involved, like we do, uh, like we try to do, uh, every week, so, listen, that was our WrestleMania special, if you like what you heard tonight, we're here every Tuesday night from 8 to 10 Eastern Time, Tuesday nights, 8 to 10 Eastern Time, you guys enjoy the, uh, the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight, I know Boone and I, it's 5 30. Got an hour and a half till it starts. Yeah. Boone and I are going to be uh, watching the Hall of Fame tonight. WrestleMania 31 tomorrow. Early start time. 5 to 7 Eastern time is the pre-show. Yes. 7 to 11. 7 to 10, 45. 7 to 11. 7 to 11. Indian people. Get your Slurpees. Yes. Uh, but anyways. Was that uh, racist what I just said? Indian people. 
You're Indian, so... No, Nate, that's... I'm Native American people. I'm talking about... Indian. Oh, do, 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 do. That was definitely racist. Anyways. Anyways, yeah. So we only agree, disagree on one match. Yeah, I don't like that part. I, I should stay with Lesnar, but I'm not going to. Anyways. I'm not going to disagree just to be wrong. I think Listen, you're right. You guys... If you would have let me go first, we would have disagreed on two, because I was going to stick with Lesnar. You changed my mind. Enjoy. Your fault. Enjoy the WWE yeah. Hall of Fame True tonight. Part. We want your <laughs> feedback on... The WrestleMania 31 kickoff show, pre-show. Yes, we do. Prediction show for WZR TV. How can they give it to us? How can they give it to us? They can go to Facebook.com slash MattBoomWZR, Facebook.com slash BrianClarkWZR. Submit your feedback. We want your comments. We want your thoughts. We want everything. How do we do tonight? Were we bad? Were we good? What do you want to see on Tuesday night? Let us know. Go to Facebook.com slash MattBoomWZR, Facebook.com slash BrianClarkWZR. Enjoy the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony tonight. Enjoy WrestleMania 31 tomorrow. Thanks for joining us this afternoon Thanks. on a Saturday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time for Matt Boone, me, Ryan Clark, him. saying see ya Tuesday night post-Raw, post-WrestleMania 31 recap show. It's going to be a busy night on Tuesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. I got the money and the power. Once you get a